Obviously, it would be the biggest moment in all of boxing history when I put this man to sleep. He dreams a lot. This is not gonna come true, young man. I made a video about eight months ago explaining why this Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight going down this Friday shouldn't happen. And I still think the 30 year age difference is crazy along with some other aspects of this fight, but it is indeed happening and it's only a few days away now. With all the face-offs and crazy promotion they've been doing, This fight is gonna do numbers. Boxing fans are gonna tune in. Influencer fans are gonna tune in. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson fans are gonna tune in. And people just curious to witness this whole spectacle are gonna tune in. But honestly, I feel like this fight is still gonna be a disaster. But I'm Drew, welcome to the channel. Please like and share the video. Don't forget to sub. Now, let's get into it. Like I mentioned, everyone is going to be tuned in to watch this fight. Even more so because this fight is going to be super accessible because it's being streamed through Netflix. And Netflix absolutely dropped the bag. Jake Paul is getting $40 million for this fight, while Tyson will be earning $20 million. Now, keep in mind, Tank Davis made about $10 million for his Frank Martin fight. So that's a serious payday for an influencer and retired boxer. But I have to give Jake Paul credit. He is an annoying loudmouth, but he knows how how to promote the hell out of his self and the fight. Jake Paul actually kind of reminds me of Mayweather. Most people watch Jake Paul fights just to see him potentially taking ill, just like they did Mayweather, who mastered the promotion of being unlikable. And Jake Paul worked this to perfection to build his early fighting career by boxing retired UFC fighter after retired UFC fighter. <laughs> and having the whole MMA community tune in just to root against them. And I think all of that is playing a factor into how people perceive this fight. I think a lot of people still see Jake Paul as the goofy ass YouTuber influencer. Hey yo, I'm Jake Paul from Bizarre Park and you're watching Disney Channel. Oh, no looker, first ever, oh, nailed it. While remembering a dominant Iron Mike Tyson from his prime. I was gonna rip his heart out, I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. It's long. Five of eight have fallen in the first. Is it six of nine as Tyson comes out with a strong right hand barrage again? This is as bad as I've ever seen Donnie Long look, but and give Tyson credit. And they just think he's going to obliterate Jake Paul. Look, I'm a Tyson fan, just like I'm sure a lot of you are. But I feel like a lot of people have been hyping up this fight and expecting a prime Mike Tyson to step into the ring, slipping jabs, walk through anything Jake Paul can throw, and absolutely destroy him. But I think they're being delusional. Mike Tyson, no matter what age he is, is going to be a bad dude for the rest of his life. But his prime was in the late 80s and early 90s. That was 30 years ago. Tyson's last professional fight was in 2000 five which was a loss and his record in his last six professional fights were two wins three losses and one no contest maybe if this jake paul fight was happening directly after tyson's last professional fight i would feel different about it oh wait that couldn't happen because jake paul was eight years old at the time which brings me to my next point no matter how much we love revere and respect mike tyson he is a 58 damn near 60 year old retired boxer that's been retired for 20 years and fighting a 27 year old at this point that is much bigger and more athletic who is in his prime athletic and yes, I do consider Jake Paul an actual boxer. He's been in the ring 11 times, he has fighting experience, and has been seriously training for almost five years straight. Good shot. Good up. Now, I don't think Jake Paul would stand a chance fighting against an actual professional boxer his age, size, who's active and in his prime. As we've already seen him get exposed by Tommy Fury, who's not actually that great. So if this fight was just about skills and experience, I think Tyson would destroy Jake Paul. But if you factor in age, athleticism, explosiveness, power and durability, naturally all of those things start diminishing by the time a human is in his 30s and 40s. I think a lot of people are also still hanging on to how good Mike Tyson looked against Roy Jones in their exhibition five years ago. And yeah, Tyson did actually look good 
good. He was moving well. But that was in comparison to what we think a man in his mid-50s should move and look like. A prime Mike Tyson would destroy that version of himself in 20 seconds. And maybe the best version possible of Mike Tyson will show up to this fight. And if that's the case, he'll be dangerous for a couple rounds. But this is a six-round fight with each round being two minutes. So yeah, maybe he'll catch Jake Paul with a big shot or two, rock him and knock him out, which I think is the outcome most people are hoping for just to be able to shut Jake Paul up. But I just don't see Mike Tyson knocking Jake Paul out at this point, no matter how much I would love for it to happen. I know Mike's been talking his shit lately and he thinks he can still beat Jake Paul. You lose if you lose this fight. I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> but but you, you say that in the last minute of the second... I am not down. gonna lose. Did you hear what I said? Thank you. Which is the mindset that most fighters have, no matter how old they are. But I just think the age and size disparity is going to be too much for Tyson. If Tyson can't get Jake Paul out of there in the first couple of rounds, then he'll have a 240-pound Jake Paul using his size to wear down the smaller Tyson, kind of like Fury did to Wilder. And if that's the case, there's a likely possibility that the fight doesn't go the distance. And Tyson gets knocked out just like Belfort did Holyfield. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to see that happen. I don't want to see a 58-year-old Mike Tyson on the canvas. Mike Tyson is such a beloved figure at this point. I just wouldn't want to see him get seriously hurt in a fight 30 years after his prime against Jake Paul of all people. I know Mike is getting $20 million, which is a bag. But even if he wins, this fight does nothing for his legacy. He's already a legend. He's already on Mike Tyson. And maybe this is just about the money, but it seems like he's been doing fine financially the last couple years. On the other hand, minus a small chance that Tyson does catch Jake Paul with something nasty see those first couple rounds, it won't necessarily be a win for Jake Paul either. Yes, he's making $40 million. He gets to add Mike Tyson's name to his resume and gets another win. But I think the general public will hate him even more. I mean, if he does win, he doesn't get any credit for being a 58-year-old Mike Tyson that shouldn't have been allowed in the ring in the first place. Like I said months ago, I just don't think this fight should have happened. No matter how good Mike looks hitting pads or in those short training clips that we see, no matter how in shape he looks right now, it'll be a different story when he gets in the ring and his body has to respond in real time. I think age will catch up to him really quickly. I just can't shake the feeling that this fight is going to be a disaster, especially if Mike Tyson gets hurt or brutally knocked out. But thanks for watching. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Also, join the Discord to continue the conversation over there. Make sure you check out the next video, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.